Aaron Scott, what's what's going on with him? He he was doing, I think, seven on seven, or he was at a camp and he was wearing Michigan gear. And then he was wearing, and then all Michigan fans were fired up about it. I think Charles tweeted about it, and it's not the first time he's tweeted about it. And then he showed up last week wearing Oregon gear, the sleeve and the gloves. And and now I just know that's setting up for a heartbreak for Michigan where he's going to go to Ohio State, right? Tell me, you have ins, insiders. Is that a lock? Is he a Buckeye lock? Well, for, first of all, speaking of, speaking of Charles Woods and Charles, if you want to sponsor us with Intercept Wine, we would love to have you. Um, Put a shameless but, plug. Uh, right you, you have a great product, buddy. Great product. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but, um, so I don't know. I don't know the kids a lot. Okay. I don't, I, I don't know. Oh. Uh, I've for months, for months now, I've been saying, I believe Ohio is going to get Bryce West over Michigan that Aaron Scott was going to get Michigan was going to get Aaron Scott over Ohio state. Um, but either that kid is the ultimate, tr- ultimate troll for Michigan fans, or he play, he plans on going, he plans on being amazing blue. It, but I can't imagine, Bryce, on your dad's birthday, picking Michigan. I mean, his parents already said they have no intentions on wearing amazing blue. I respect yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, but I I don't I don't know. And at the moment, I'm probably like 60-40 Ohio State. Um, okay, and it would be nice name. to have him because, but Bryce West is a better athlete. Aaron is more technically sound. Okay. So, I think I mean it'd be a great a great haul. That'd be that would be our third corner in the class. So that'd be that'd be nice to have. It'd be nice to have. Him. Yeah, yeah. That would be. That would be. Like, and all that and all the experts have him going to Ohio State. So, yeah. Right. Right. I mean, I think on three has like a 96% predict prediction. It's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be fun. I think you're right. He's got his, his, his dad's, his dad's birthday, right? It's July 31st. Like that would be, that'd be another type of move. Yeah. So I, I think that one's going to be an interesting one, a fun one to watch. I think, I don't think people would be surprised if he puts on Buckeye's gear and puts on the Buckeye hat when it comes time. I think people would be very surprised, but I saw a quote today saying that he wants he likes the idea of being the villain. And if you come from Springfield, Ohio, and you go up to Michigan. Getting a kid out of Springfield is hard to do. I will say that. Hard to do. Like, hard to do. It's, hard to do. But, it's like getting a kid out of Glenville, man. It's hard to do from Ohio State. Yeah. And, I mean, and Michigan doesn't have a corner in the class right now. Yeah, that's it. That's a good point. That's the other thing. So, I mean, which I, which I find hilarious. Yeah. But, like, um. Funny. We'll see, man. I, I I think you know some kids. You know some kids like to enjoy the process more. I don't blame him for it. I think he's enjoying he's enjoying the process. He's enjoying his time with me. People don't know he he actually is an Oregon fan. So I mean, yeah, man. I right, enjoy the process, kid. Enjoy the process. I, I'm all for it. Big time. And I think Jeremiah Smith. Like I've seen him do different recruit uh, different uh, recruiting visits, and I know it sounds like to me he seems like a Buckeye lock. And he's just getting a free trip out to LA to go see USC. And I don't know, maybe there's party that's a little concerned. That's like, uh oh, what could happen? Oh, I mean, you know, he's already said, you know, uh, he says as long as Ryan Day and Brian Hartline are in Columbus, he's full on committed. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. we'll, I mean, and it, why not take the trip? Why free trip not? To LA. Yep. Why not, man? I mean, plus, I mean, like going up. You live in Florida. Go to the Florida schools. Why not? Go, go see what they have going on there. Yeah, no, I do find it. I, I find it hilarious that schools like Florida think they they can flip him with Florida State. That's not happening. But um, no, no, it feels like there's different leagues there. I would give Michigan a better chance than you guys. <laughs> I think Jane Davis might have tweeted him once, and that I don't know how well that went. Oh yeah, all right. wasn't he going after all of our recruits? I think so. All right, all right. Don't disrespect my quarterback here. Look, I'm after you. Good. You know good. that. Well, so this segue is actually into my next point is because I think it's interesting this year, the change. And I want to get your thoughts as a Buckeye fan. The 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 impact that that is with Michigan getting into Ohio with some recruits. And let me let me go down memory lane here, which is like I kind of did last last time. Mm-hmm. So 
I forget what interview it was. I tried to find it today. I couldn't find it. But at one point in time, I remember Urban Meyer saying, you got to lock out. You have to lock out Michigan from the state of Ohio. They, you can't let them come in here. Mm-hmm. From 08 to when he came, you know, that was a, a harder, a darker time for Michigan. But then that 2011 season happened and there was some successes there. 2012 class of the top, you know, five players, Michigan got three of them. Joel Bolden, linebacker, Kyle Callis, the offensive lineman, Chris Wormley, the defensive, uh, I think he's defensive tackle, defensive end. I forget what he came out of high school as. And then in 2013, they got the number four player, Demonte Thomas, the safety, and then they got Taco Charlton, the defensive end. 2015, they got Michael Ferns, which I, I, I couldn't even tell you who that is. He transferred to West Virginia right away. He's number nine player. And then Noah Furbush, who was late teens, linebacker. And then let me just tell you this. 2015, we got Tyree Kinnell, uh, this the safety, who's number 14 in the class. At that point, you saw the tightening of the screws on the lid of that Ohio recruiting jar. Because in 2016, we didn't get anybody from Ohio. In 2017, we got one player, James Hudson, off his lineman, transferred to Cincinnati. I think he had a pretty good career there. 2018, we got nobody. And then 2019, I think Ryan Day obviously then came on. And we got the number six player. And then we got Eric Hall and Zach Carpenter, both of which have transferred. And then the the lids shut again. And then 2020, we didn't get anybody. 2021, then we got Rod Moore. Well, obviously, he's one of the top safeties in the Big Ten, if not the country, this year. And then 2020, no one. And so what I'm looking at here, looking at this list, what I'm seeing is Urban Meyer shutting the door. And then I'm seeing him say, hey, Ryan Day, this is the way it has to be. You can't let them in. And then a couple wins this year of the past two years. I'm curious if that's changed anything. Because 2023, we got Cameron Calhoun, which I know you guys weren't going after. Mm, Whatever. And then we got Jason Hewlett. And then, of course, this year, this class, right, this is where you get you know, potentially Aaron Scott, but then we have Jordan Marshall. Lewis, uh, Ted Hammond, well, we got Luke Hamilton. And yeah, we ain't, we ain't off of those guys, Rice. Irregardless, it's it's top 10 talent in the state of Ohio. Yeah. So what are what I let me ask you your thoughts on that. If with with Urban Meyer saying that and a couple losses happening, and now Michigan's seeking their way back into Ohio. Are you are you just saying, hey, it's not the top five talent? That's fine. You can have them. Or are you, is there a party that's a little, a little suspicious, a little worried? Uh, I wouldn't even say worried. If if there if it, if it was guys like Jordan Marshall, like I wanted Jordan Marshall in, in a, a, a Ohio State uniform, so that kind of that kind of sucked. But overall, it's not something to worry about for me. Uh, even, because even even when Urban was coaching. Yeah, he locked down guys in Ohio, but our best players weren't from Ohio. Like not the the the, the like our top tier guys were not all from Ohio. Even Jim Tressel eventually stopped only recruiting Ohio Midwest kids and started getting guys like uh, some good guys from from Florida. So I mean, if I if I look right here, right. So this is since 2018, right? So these are all these are all Ryan Day's recruits that he's got in the state of Ohio. He got the number two, number three, number four, number six guys in the top ten of Ohio. Okay, none of them went to Michigan. None of them. Some one went to Clemson, one went to Michigan State, two went to Kentucky. That happens so for some odd reason. Kids in Ohio go to Kentucky. Um, in 2019, got one, two, three, four. Five guys in the top 10, guys like Zach Harrison, Kate Stover, who's the tight end on the team, uh, Ryan Jacoby, Noel Potter, and Tommy Ag- guys like Tommy Agenberg. You know, guys that Tommy Agenberg was an All-American. Uh, 2020, let's see, he got the number one guy, number two guy, number seven. Uh, out of the top 10, a lot of guys went to Kentucky and Cincinnati. And then so on, he still gets guys in Ohio. So I, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, Ohio State has is a nat- Ohio State's a national footprint, okay? It has its hands everywhere. Um, 
lately, I mean, we get our we get our receivers from down south. We go we go down south to Florida for those guys. Um, makes sense because Brian Hartline used to play with the Miami Dolphins. He knows the whole area. Um, I think we've been able to get the guys we need in Ohio. Uh, it, you know, a lot of Michigan fans joke when we say we didn't offer the kids, but truth of the matter is they didn't offer them. Uh, even though I believe Ted Hammond is a really good football player, makes up for when you get Justin Scott. <laughs> you know I mean, I mean, so I mean, what are you? I mean, what, what, I, I don't. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's anything to do. It, it, it'd be the same way as when I ask. I, I've asked the question, why didn't Michigan get Nick Marsh? And then I, I get fans saying, oh well, for character issues. I, mean, I don't want to hear that. The number one receiver, you had the number one. Uh, Receiver in your state, go to Michigan State. Why? Why can't you get the number one wide receiver out of your own state? So, you know, you, you didn't get the number one corner out of your own state this year. Um, the difference is, is Ohio is just a, an incredibly talent rich state. Yes. You know, it's not necessarily maybe Texas or Florida or Georgia or California, but it's that next tier down where there's just a stupid amount of talent there. And, and, and yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if there's anything to be worried about, but I think, you know, Meyer had a philosophy and, you know, you lose, get blown out two times in a row. It makes you wonder, like, are you going to lose? I mean, if, if Michigan walks away with Aaron Scott, like that'll be, that one will be, that'll throw things on its head a little bit for, I think, at least for Ohio State. Like, cause you guys will still get your talent, but you have to oh, take care of Ohio State. A lot of Ohio State fans, have been under uh, Bryce. I'm trying to tell you for a long time now. Ohio State fans have been comfortable with the fact that we're not. You might probably not gonna get Aaron Scott. We've been very comfortable with that. Wow, accepting your fate. Wow. Okay. No, yeah, I mean, it's, it, he's been very open with his recruitment. Bryce West was never. I never thought we were not gonna get Bryce West. Aaron Scott. Well, he seems like an Ohio kid that wouldn't go to Ohio State or, or, or who would choose somewhere else, and that's okay. Um. But I mean, I mean, we, we, we keep talking about Urban and him recruiting Ohio. Okay, well, that's the, 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 those are the same athletes, the same classes that got beat thirty-one to zero, got lost to Iowa, lost pretty. So I, I, I didn't care less about whatever he said about recruiting. All right, all right. What, what, Ur, what Urban was doing was that, um, man, I can't think of his name. Uh, was it Jonathan? Was it Cooper? He went. I'm sorry, it was uh, Lee. Ron Lee. He went down to uh, Georgia to go recruit him. He said, if you come to Ohio State, you'll get a chance to beat Bama. That's what he was telling kids down south. Urban knows, I mean, he, well, Ezekiel's from Missouri. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting that. Our biggest impact players have been from out of the state. And that's, that's the truth. Yeah. That's the truth. All right, well, I think it's going to be interesting, man. I think to see to see how it unfolds with Scott and then what impact – if. Michigan will have if they win this year again on recruiting in the home state. It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting thing just to just keep feelers on. 